How are everyone? Today I want to talk about myself and also my Obsidian vault and how I take notes with Obsidian because I know that like um uh sometimes I like most of the time I talk about my plugins but uh, actually the most important thing uh, of using Obsidian is not about using all those plugins it's about how you manage your knowledge. Um so I have been an Obsidian user since two uh, 2020 and I've been using it for three years already but um, so so but I, I, I'm not continuously using it for uh, like for three years so in the middle uh, actually I quit Obsidian for a while and then I used Notion because I found that I actually don't know how to use Obsidian I don't use it well and sometimes I feel like it is slowing down my progress of knowledge management I'm not actually no learning new things I'm spending time um, like like discovering all, all all those new plugins and like testing those new plugins and I found that uh, it is just a waste of time so I quit Obsidian and I use Notion and I've been like uh, uh, using Notion for like one one to one and a half year and then I have become an expert in Notion and then like once I uh, work as a software engineer I graduate from university I work as a software en engineer and then I start missing obsidian I miss how fast it is I miss how simple it is and I miss how powerful it is so I come back to obsidian and then I've been using it for like um, for like I guess I start using somewhere here I guess like uh yeah august i start using august and now i've been using it for uh for four months already and i just want to share with you like how i take notes with obsidian and like uh and how is my philosophy right so uh so before that i want i want to shout out to my website because uh you know uh my website has uh, a lot of notes here although like uh, many people uh, like have a bit much bigger vault than me but uh, but my philosophy of using obsidian is that I try to uh, organize things uh, in a way that I can share to people like if you go to your model.dev right you will go to the home page and then you will see basically like introduction of myself like who am I like this is a very basic introduction to myself I ask myself what can I do to contribute and make the world a better place and then I also have a favorite scripture from the Bible and then I tell you how to start browsing the website because the obsidian uh, box is, is huge and then like I tell you okay you can read the about me uh, to know more about me because uh, uh, because this page is basically like a link tree you have you can access my social media you can sponsor my work you can book a meeting with me uh, on, on cal.com and then you can leave me a message uh, but uh, to know more about me you better like read the about me page and then there's in short like there's a call out here you can like read read about it and then uh, there's also more um, more of my philosophy right and then yeah you can toggle this focus mode to like to remove all the distraction and then uh, you can also uh, read the index what is the index the index talk about the structure of the website it talk about why I start the website um, the foundation of my life I believe that my foundation the my life is supported by four pillars which is the relationship health finance and lifestyle and then I also uh, organize my waft based on these four pillars uh, and then there's a hand draft uh, of my life planning you can see that uh, in the middle there's life basically this is the starting point and then uh, branch out from life there's finance lifestyle relationship health and then it branch out even more so uh, there are more uh, and, and then you can see that like basically uh, my waft is organized by 100 like you can see that 100 300 400 and then uh, you can see that the health is missing it's because I don't have any notes about health uh, actually I'm be, I've been thinking like how can I like write 
uh, knows about my health. Uh, maybe I will recognize like how I, uh, how often I do quiet time, uh, which is the spiritual quiet time, uh, like uh, like my body track results, things like that. But I haven't get a time to do it yet. Um, so I I might do it in the future. But you you get an idea. Basically, I I organize my vault based on these four pillars, and then there is also a unique section which is the diary section. So in the diary section. You can see that uh, all of my you can see all of my diary here. Uh, some some of the notes are missing, especially like the in in the October, because um, so I have been procrastinate a bit. But like uh, in September, basically I write uh, every every um, uh, like every diary, so it's really cool. Uh, so uh, like some people ask me like uh, am I worried about privacy issues? Uh, but actually like most of the things because. Uh, I, I talk about um, so in index, in index I talk about I, I have a page linked to build my life in public. You can see that build my life in public, and then you can see that okay, what does it mean? It means that actually I be, I want to walk in the light. I want to walk in the light. So which means I want to be public. I feel like the more public my life is, the more accountable and credible incredible I become. So um, uh, the things that I do, as long as uh, it is not very confidential, it is not confidential. It, it doesn't affect other people' uh, privacies. Then, like I, I, I will, I, I will share it, and that's why, like I share. Uh, that's why my my Instagram account is public as well. Uh, you can go check out my Instagram account. Uh, this you can follow me. My my Instagram account is public, and then. Like so, my idea is that like uh, you can see that like I have a promise here, so this page will will never be changed for the rest of my life. This is like a virtue. This page will never be changed of my life. I talk about how I come across come up with this idea, the benefits, uh, some guidelines, and how do I implement this. And this page will never be changed. And this uh this philosophy. Affect how I organize my note. My knowledge is public. My knowledge is public. Um, I've been trying to write some books. The book, the books are public. Uh, my pillars uh, are public. Uh, so yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, you can see all these. These are really cool. And then, yeah. So uh, so below the index. You can see all the tags of the website, because in my Obsidian vault, in my Obsidian vault, actually, I when you when you rem, uh, if I toggle these tags, you can see that uh, the structure is is gone. So basically, I I already used link to organize my vault because I noticed that. Um, so like I just said that I start I've been an Obsidian user since two thousand twenty. And at that time, I really like using Link to organize my idea, but uh, my vault sort of uh, become uh, very unmanageable at that time, and I start uh, thinking about why um, am I am I use overusing links, and that's why like I start at uh, this time when I start uh, since August, I try to use Link as le as least as possible, so it is counterintuitive. Because like I think most of the Obsidian user we told you that, um, uh, like how how to use folders, how do you use tags, and then how do you use links, and then if you don't know the difference, if you don't really sure the difference, just use link. Most of the people will told you that, and yeah, I think like is how I was, but now I try to use link as least as possible. And if I I try to use tag to structure my note, so if I have turn on the tags, you will see that the structure come out, and then the biggest circle, the biggest cluster here is software engineering, and then there's diary, there's worship songs, there are Christianity, marketing. You can see that Obsidian form a cluster here as well, and then there's Obsidian plugin also uh, form a little cluster here, and then I have knowledge management form a cluster here. 
I have AI from a cluster here, right? So uh, then, then there's recipes here, and that's why you can see that I don't need to use link. I don't use I did, I don't need to use link to tag uh, to to connect everything when I when I just turn on the tags, everything will cluster together, and then I just I can uh, so I don't need to manage the links, and it will not um, uh, intercept my flow when taking notes. So this is how I take notes. Um, so that's why there are many tags in my vault. And then I also have a data view query uh, to generate all the tags uh, to, and then, and then show it in the Obsidian, uh, in, in, on Obsidian Publish. And that's why you can see all, all the tags here. And if you click, like for example, Astro, you click Astro, then uh, you can see all the notes uh, co uh, corresponding to Astro. Uh, if you click these, like basically some small tags, you will see like uh, the different uh, notes here uh, connecting to the, the that tag, right? AI, ChatGPT, AI images, things like that. And then I, I'm, uh, so I really want the Obsidian team, Obsidian team improve on the, on the Obsidian publish uh, uh, graph because uh, it is definitely lacking some customization. So yeah, this is, uh, I talk about the basic structure of my raft. I, I think I cannot talk about like all of these things in one video, all of my raft in one videos. But um, if, if you want to know more about my, and knowledge management um, uh, philosophy, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and also check out my website. If you go to knowledge management uh, page in my in my website, you can see that I have some notes and it is, um, or, or, and the notes is written in a way that to help you understand what is knowledge management and how you can do better, uh, how, how you can start uh, knowledge management. Uh, I have some uh, links to other YouTubers as well. And then there's some notes, my hand drafted notes. And then like I have some mermaid diagram here. Uh, tell you, oh, knowledge management is, uh, why do we not need knowledge management? Because we want to research and prepare for the future. And then we also have some documentation of uh, what we have done in the past to help our future self. And then I have a list of knowledge management apps. Uh, I have some conclusion. Uh, here ab about the comparison of different knowledge management apps and then um, and then yeah if you go to knowledge consolidation I talk about like how, what defines good knowledge management and yeah what are the good principles uh, like how the workflow should be designed like what need to be remember what what don't need to be remembered um, so I written in a way uh, for other people to read it but uh, these are just my thoughts. So um, I don't have a PhD in knowledge management. I cannot like um, I I cannot claim have, have an official ex expertise in knowledge management. But uh, these are my thoughts. So uh, if you found that useful, uh, like or if you don't find it useful, you you think like some of the things are wrong, just leave me a comment in the YouTube videos. I I, I will appreciate that, and then I might um, discuss with you as well be, because I, I I really like discussing knowledge management with different people. Some of the YouTubers um, or some of the expert Obsidian users actually email me and then uh, want to know more about me because uh, they saw my YouTube videos. They, they think my plugins are very interesting. And then they also saw my website and, and they just curious about me. Uh, I'm so very grateful about this. I thank everyone a lot. And then I, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you like it, like and subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time. Bye.